How much does it cost you to cool your home in the summer? I bet it's quite a pretty penny. I'm Sam Hoyle, your Shafter Neighborhood Reporter. Now let's magnify that bill times the size of the Walker Senior Center, which is also used as a cooling center in the summer. But thanks to a federal grant, they should see that bill drop quite a bit. Oh, it means a lot. A sigh of relief from Shafter Recreation and Parks District Manager Philip Jimenez. He said the district applied for the grant unsure of what to expect, but they're exceptionally thankful for being selected. We heard the news about the grant. Um, it was very, you know, a mixed emotions, you know, happiness, excitement, uh, you know, now understanding that we have to get to work and, you know, make sure we get this project all taken care of. The grant, which was for just over $230,000, is part of a federal spending package passed by Congress, with grants like the one for the Walker Senior Center in Shafter being advocated for by Congressman David Valadeo. Uh, the only thing that we do is make sure that when the bill is written and signed into law, that those dollars are in that program, but then we're actually marking some of those dollars to make sure they go into specific organizations and specific communities. According to Jimenez, the center runs programs for seniors four days a week, including a variety of other programs like being a hub for Meals on Wheels. In the past, we've talked about senior fitness classes at the center, but on Monday morning, it was a bit calmer with coffee and loteria. La Catrina. For Rosemary Jimenez, the senior center is a place of happiness. I really enjoy it. It keeps me going and it it helps me do my yard work and all that because I feel more uh, healthy, more movable, and a company. I have company here that talks with me. And How nice is it to see some familiar faces on a regular basis? And, oh, and really, really in. good. Really, really good. I feel good and happy. Now, in talking with Jimenez, he did say that there isn't a well-established timeline for this project as they are still working on sending these projects out to bid. In Shafter, I'm Sam Hoyle, your Neighborhood Reporter.